everyone! I'm so glad you can join me today. Welcome back to my channel. We are going to talk all about Google Sites. Google Sites is an amazing free platform that you can use to create your own website for your classroom. I've been using Google Sites for about six years and it has been so helpful to create any type of activity and different options for my students. So if you want to use this and learn some tricks, keep on watching. So here's a look at the Google site that I made. Now Google Sites is different than Google Classroom. This is more like a traditional website. So if you want to create like a separate space that's great for parents and your students to collect main information, this is going to be it. It's free, which is awesome. And you can see that you can do a lot. So I created this header. You can customize it. One good thing that's better than Google Classrooms is it doesn't make it dark which is nice, so your bright colors will show. And then you can see that these are all images and they're clickable. You can put in GIFs, you can put in fun videos. So if I come over here, you can see my heading on the top. You can even have drop down with other options. If I go to um, schedule, you can see that you can embed a lot of things, which is really easy to do and fun. So I can put a calendar of events so families can see all the events coming up. If I hit meet your teacher, I could have photos, videos, anything that you really want to add. You can put in, again, pictures. It's really great because it's easy to implement things from Google Drive, from your computer. You can even link to other websites. These are buttons that I created right in Google Sites that will bring up the other websites. And you can even create um, forms or put, put in, this is a slideshow that I made for back to school. I can embed this right in with simple one, two clicks and parents can have this to access throughout the year. I can even have it linked to a Google form or other external websites. So let's take a look at how exactly you do this. So creating a Google site, you can just go to your Google Drive and you're going to hit new, more, don't forget about that more button, and you're going to hit Google site. I'm gonna pull up mine just so you can see a little bit about it. But when you open, there's a lot of things that you can do. One thing you can do is change your headers. So these headers are going to work similar to um, a header for a Google form. It's just gonna be that long box. So maybe you're gonna use Canva or Google, um, Google Drawing or PowerPoint to make it very easy. I can link another video where I explain more about that. And you can just upload and change the image right from here. Now you have different header type options. You can make a large picture, a large banner, a smaller banner, and then just words if you want to type. You can also just pick a standard color and you can type right on here. So you can hit text and you can, you know, if this wasn't here, I could type um, welcome and put this in really big title font and center it and I could just have like a plain background that you get from the internet so it doesn't have to be fancy. If you don't want text and you want to make your own with some fonts you can do here. Now one thing that Google Sites doesn't have that you know a professional website would you can't change the fonts and do a lot with that and colors so that's why you can use uh, photos to kind of trick up that look. And then again these are just photos so Adding a photo is super easy. You can click in any empty space and either add images from the internet, from your Google Drive, or you can upload them straight from your computer. So if I was gonna upload, like you can see here, it works just like that. Now, if your photo, if you find that your photo looks like cropped or something looks wrong and it's cut off like that, 
Just make sure you hit this little button. It will uncrop and it'll fit it to the size so that you don't get that cut off. If you wanna link a button, like I link these to other areas, you can hit the little link and you can pick to link to an outside website, just type in the URL, or you can link to something that's in here, a page you created in here. You can also change the look by clicking on the color. You can have different backgrounds, so you can kind of split up your page. You can also add images. So if you wanted to create an image that was kind of like something, you can add that look. There's really so much you can do. Um, text is super easy. You can click anywhere and just, again, hit the options. So if I wanna start typing here, I can type right in, I can change the text. Again, you don't have too much, but you can make it real big. You can make it um, a heading, subheading. So there's different options for there. You can center it, you can put links in there as well. And then, Let's say I wanna add something different like the calendar. Right here on the right side is some more features that are really great. So they have some preset layouts for you. And then you can see here they have buttons, um, YouTube videos you can put right in. So if you record yourself, you can put calendars, maps, documents, slides, anything like that built right in, which is really helpful. So let's say I want to add, like this right here is a graphic because I don't have this font in Google Sites. I just type that separately, saved it as an image, and I uploaded the image here. So maybe I want to add some more pictures. I can search for something right here on Google, like I love uh, the beach. I can search and just click this and insert that right in. And you can see here how easy that is to do. I can add multiple images. I like ice cream. All right, there you go. <laughs> this one looks tasty. So you can add your own search, whatever you want. And you can move them around, which is great. So you can see that it's kind of built off this grid. So as you drag and move, you can kind of put things where you like. You can click and shrink them and fix them up. You can see that this is a large picture. Now you can also add in other aspects such as um, Google Sheets, Google Sides, things from your drive. So if I double click in this space, I can go to my drive. Let's say I wanna add in a PDF. It's gonna pull up my drive. So the easiest thing to do is to upload it right through there. And I can click here and say, all right, I'm gonna add this assignment for my students. This is a Google Slideshow. So I can add this. It's gonna put it in view mode. You just wanna make sure when you add this that you went into that specific slide or form or whatever you're using the settings there and that you make sure anyone with the link can view it. If you have it restricted, then it will look like it's viewable for you, but in the your parent or your student side, it might be black and say they need to log in or get access. So the best way to test this is to take your website URL, open up an incognito mode. So you just do that by clicking the three little buttons and hitting new incognito mode and pasting your URL. If you see that it works fine, you're good to go to, for anybody. If you see there's an error, that means you need to change your privacy settings on that specific resource. So what's different about Google Classroom is that students won't each get their own copy. This is gonna be viewable for them. They're gonna be able to click on it. So you don't wanna give anything that you had hoped your students would each get a copy of, then you're gonna to want to use Google Classroom. But if you're just viewing something or if your students don't have Google Classroom, then this is a great way. Um, you can always make it viewable for students, like a slideshow or some kind of sample um, like this resource, the students would be able to open it. If you keep it as viewable only, they can then force um, a copy in their 
in their uh, Google Drive and they can edit and work on it that way. But it presents it here, so it's pretty cool because the students are able to open and look and the parents, so it's really great. We use this at my school. We made a website during distance learning for kindergarten because they're too young for Google Classroom. If you notice that the header is a little bit blurred out like this one, just change here. It's making it adjustable to read. Um, you can just edit that so that it's better um, for your families and students to see. Now, let me show you how to add more pages and to your Google site in general. So if you come over to pages, you can hit the plus sign and you can choose if you want, oops, I didn't mean to do that, but you can choose if you want, if that happens, you can just click on it and hit delete. It's that easy. Just make sure you don't delete the wrong thing. So you can come here and choose if you want it to be a straight link. So if that's somewhere else, like if you wanna have on here your school website or Flipgrid or some other site, Google Classroom, you can hit new link. You can paste that link right in like this, or you can create a new actual web page by hitting new page and typing that. I'm gonna just write sample and there you go. If you want to make that page under something else, like if that is something you want parents to view, you can click and drag it underneath and you can see it's going to put under more. It's going to give more options um, for the parents. And then theme is where you can change a little bit of the features. There's different themes. You can pick colors along them and you can pick some different fonts. So it does change a little bit of the look. You can see how this one looks compared to it, um, it does change a little bit of the style, so it's really up to you what type of um, look you are going for. Another thing you can do is add buttons. So you can see over here under helpful resources, I added buttons. You can click right here, add a button. You can name your button. So if I wanted this to go to Google Classroom, or to a web page on my, well, I should type this in. You can see that it's pulling up files from my Google Classroom. I mean, from my Google Drive, which is cool. And then you have the option here to make it a certain size. You can have it outlined. You can have just the text, okay? Or you can have it filled. And then the colors is kind of just the colors around um, the page, but you can play around with that as well. If you feel like your site is ready to use, you can go over to settings. You have a couple more options, which are fun. You can change if you want the menu bar to be on the side in a little drop down or on the top. You can decide if you want it transparent, white, or black. And you can also add some brand images such as a logo, if you have like a class or school logo. You can change some of the information and track what happens. You can also add this fun announcement banner. So let's say you had parents and they needed to fill out a form. You can hit show banner. You can make the banner like red so they'll see it. And you can write um, student forms due Wednesday. You can give a link if you want them to click somewhere. And um, when you X that out, you can see it's gonna pop right up there. So that's good for like specific things that you want the parents to know. And you can have like a link that says click here and you can remind them where to fill it out. So if you think you're ready, all you have to do is hit publish. Now, since I've already published it, it's going to just go to the um, save mode. But the first time you publish it, you can name the ending of your site. So it's going to have like a long site name. That's the only bad thing, but you can add a name. And what you can do is you can go to bit.ly and shorten that link. So you can be bit.ly slash, you know, Miss J's page or something, you can change it. When you hit publish and you've already made your website, 
the cool thing is going to show you what things you've edited and what things you've changed. Um, it's going to put that right in. And when you hit publish, you will be able to see all of those changes um, in your site. You can then go to view publish site and make sure everything works. You can click around and see if that is the website that you were hoping for. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Drop a comment below if you want to ask me any questions or give us some insider tips that you might have. I'll see you soon.